Calculating colligative properties. For colligative properties, we will be able to calculate the freezing point depression. Freezing point depression uses the equation delta Tf equals MIKF, where delta Tf is the change in the freezing point temperature. M is the molality, which is measured as moles divided by kilograms, moles of solute over the kilograms of solution. I is the dissociation factor, and Kf is the freezing constant. And for water, the freezing constant is negative 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal. To find the elevation of the boiling point, we can use the equation delta Tb equals MIKB, where delta Tb is the change in the temperature for the boiling point. M is the molality, again measured as moles of solute divided by kilograms of solution, I being the disassociation factor and Kb give us, us our boiling constant, which for water is 0 0.52 degrees Celsius per molal. To find the dissociation factors, we have two ways of doing this. The first way is for ionic solutes. Ionic solutes are considered to be electrolytes, and for this case, you would count the number of ions present in solution based on the dissociation factor. So for sodium chloride, NaCl, you will get a sodium ion and a chlorine ion that will dissociate. Therefore, you have a dissociation factor of 2. Calcium chloride, CaCl2, will give us 3, 1 calcium ion and 2 chlorine ions. And calcium phosphate will dissolve down into 3 calciums and 2 phosphates, giving us a value of 5 for the dissociation factor. Typically, ionic compounds will have specific sub suffixes, uh, calcium chloride, IDE, uh, nitric acid or hydrochloric acid, IC, um, sodium phosphite, ITE, or sodium sulfate, ATE. So if you see these suffixes, you typically know you're dealing with an ionic compound. For molecular solutes, also known as covalent solutes, these are non-electrolytes, and their dissociation factor is always 1. Covalent suffixes tend to be os, ain, ein, ein, anol, il, ahol, and all, such as glucose, methane, butyne, propanol, alcohol. Any of those will typically lead to the fact that you are dealing with a covalent solute or molecular solute making it a non-electrolyte and making its dissociation factor 1. So here we have a sample problem and what is the boiling point of a 1 kilogram sol um, solution of water if 25 grams of sodium chloride have been dissolved in solution. Since we are dealing with boiling point we're going to use the base equation delta Tb equals MIKB Delta Tb is what we're going to be looking for. What is the new boiling point temperature? M is our molality, measured in moles per kilogram. I will be our dissociation factor, and since we're dealing with an ionic compound of sodium chloride, we have an Na and a an Cl, two ions, therefore our dissociation factor is 2. And our Kb is the constant for boiling, and for water that is 0 0.52 degrees Celsius per molal. We begin by taking the 25 grams of sodium chloride and using conversion factors of one mole over of NaCl for 58 grams of NaCl, 58 being the gram form of the mass of the solute. We get a mole value of 0.43 sodium chloride. Taking that 0.43 moles of sodium chloride, we divide that by the one kilogram of solution of water and we get a molality of 0 0.43 molals. So our delta Tb is equal to 0 0.43 molals times this, times the dissociation factor of 2. Multiply that by the Kb or constant for boiling of 0 0.52 degrees Celsius per molal and we get a change in boiling temperature of 0 0.447 degrees Celsius. Since the original boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius, we will add the 0.447 degrees Celsius, and therefore our new boiling point will be 
0.447 degrees Celsius. So what is the freezing point of 1200 grams of water if 18 grams of glucose have been dissolved in solution? We will begin with the delta Tb, or delta Tf, excuse me, equals MIKF. Delta Tf is the change in freezing temperature, that's what we will be looking for. Our molality is moles over kilograms. Our I, or disassociation factor, will be 1 because glucose is um, a non-electrolyte, a covalent molecule making it have a dissociation factor of 1. And our Kf for water, in this case, is negative 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal. We begin by converting the grams of glucose to moles. Using the conversion factor 1 mole over 180 grams, the gram form of the mass of glucose, we get a mole value of 0.1 moles. 0.1 moles of glucose divided by 1.2 kilograms. We take the 1,200 grams and divide it by 1,000. Moving the decimal 3 to the left, we get 1.2 kilograms of solution, giving us a molality of 0.083 molals. Going to the base equation, delta Tf equals MIKF. We get 0.083 molals times 1, the dissociation factor times negative 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal, which is the constant for freezing for water, we get a change in the freezing temperature of negative 0.154 degrees Celsius. Since the original temperature for freezing for water is 0 degrees Celsius, by subtracting the, the 1.54, we get a new freezing point of negative 0.154 degrees Celsius. This problem is a little different because now we're going to be asked to find the molecular mass, the gram formula mass of the unknown compound. So we have 5 grams of a non-electrolyte added to 25 grams of water. So the new freezing point is negative 2.5 degrees Celsius. So again we will use the delta Tf equals MIKF as our base equation. Our delta Tf is the negative 2.5 degrees Celsius. We will have to find the molality. Our I is 1 because we are dealing with a non-electrolyte. And our Kf, because it is being dissolved in water, is negative 1.86 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> so that 2.5 degrees Celsius equals M times 1 times negative 1.86, giving us a molality value of 1.34 moles per kilogram. Taking that molality value of 1.34 moles per kilogram, we can now solve for moles. We took the 25 grams of solution and moved the decimal 3 to the left, giving us 0 0.025 kilograms. Rearranging this algebraically, we end up with x moles, which is equal to 0 0.0335 moles. Now, from stoichiometry, we know that moles is equal to grams over molar, molar mass. So, taking the 0 0.0335 moles equals 5 grams of the solute divided by its molar mass. Rearranging it algebraically, we get a value of 149.25 grams per mole, and this is the molar mass of the non-electrolyte solute.